All right, before we get started, I, uh, I just want to <laughs> say that the pronunciation of Lady Damutresk's name has been infuriating. So Capcom told Eurogamer it's uh, Dimitris. Capcom told Eurogamer, at least that's what Eurogamer says, that it's pronounced Lady Dimitris. I'm going to be pronouncing it Damutresk because that's how Ethan in the game pronounces it. But apparently, uh, to Romanian people, it should be pronounced uh, Dimitrescu. So, maybe Ethan's getting it wrong. Anyway, welcome to Resident Evil Village. This game, I've played a couple minutes. I absolutely love it. This is coming as a real shock to me. The marketing for this game has been all over the place. They've released a couple of demos. The demos were, I thought, pretty good. But... Um, the actual core gameplay loop of this, it's different than what they did in Biohazard. I promise we're going to hop right in just a second. Uh, the gameplay loop's different from what they did in Biohazard. It's a little more action-oriented, but from a gameplay perspective, it's just a lot of fun. I highly recommend, however, before you start playing, uh, let's see, where is it? Go over to... Ah, right. Camera, okay. This is very important. I highly recommend setting acceleration to none for aiming and movement. Obviously, if you're using a mouse, then you want to go ahead and turn that off as well. Is there mouse acceleration? Oh, maybe there's no mouse acceleration. Good. <laughs> there shouldn't be. It's terrible. Um, because games like this usually look better on stream with a controller, I'm going to be playing with that, which should make it even scarier, because controllers are terrible for aiming. Anyway, welcome, guys. Um, we're playing the PC version of the game. I've got just about everything maxed out. We have ray tracing as high as it'll go. This game is absolutely gorgeous. If you have an HDR OLED... This is legitimately one of the best looking games that I've played. It's truly stunning, and it's only 28 gigabytes. This game is only 28 gigabytes. It looks absolutely incredible. Uh, the gameplay is really fun. Honestly, I think they found a great balance between the Resident Evil 4 era and the Resident Evil 7 era in terms of first person scares, but also some nice, fun action gameplay. All right, let's hop in. I'm not going to be talking during the cutscenes. And, uh, yeah, you know the drill. <laughs> I've really been looking forward to this, and I'm just really, really glad that I've been having so much fun. I've only played about 10, 20 minutes so far, but it's... I love it. All right, let's go. We're going to be starting from the beginning. Again, this is PC gameplay. If you can watch at 1440p, 60fps, highly recommend it. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. 
Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. If you didn't play Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, I'll give you a Did quick you recap something? in a second. Nothing. I'll put her down. This game is absolutely stunning. What they've done with RE Engine, or is it pronounced Re Engine? It's incredible. The graphics here, the, the sheer fidelity of the visuals is outstanding, but um it's it's just really well executed the art style and the fidelity they pair into this incredibly potent combination you can actually see fibers uh in her sweater it's the textures are outstanding the lighting is unbelievable anyway i'm gonna stop gushing gushing about that so much but i really appreciate the production design as well the introduction reminds me of Coraline. the music's incredible the animation's absolutely top rate and look at this house i'm getting some serious pt vibes something i've always appreciated uh check this out look at the look at the detail here look at that it's not perfect this actually looks like uh look at the roughness around the molding there it actually looks like a real lived-in house <laughs> i'm so impressed <sighs> Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. There's something really goddamn scary about her. I'm not gonna give any spoilers for Seven, but... Hey! What are you doing, mister? I, I don't like her. I really don't. Anyway, her sweater's outstanding. Really fantastic stuff. This is genuinely one of the best-looking games I've ever seen. Just wait until we get inside of Castle Damatresque. Check this out as well. Look, look. They didn't finish painting right up to the molding, which is something that I've been guilty of. I've painted a couple of uh, rooms in my time. Look at that. <laughs> the cardboard boxes. Oh my god. This game is only 28 gigabytes. 28 gigabytes. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Yeah, Mia. Ooh. How about that bedtime story, huh? <laughs> this kid is not going to turn out right. Look at the atmospheric lighting. My god. Look at that food. All right, let's go put our uh, baby Rose to bed. Just one or two quick things I want to point out to you guys before we do that. Again, this is the PC version of the game. We're playing everything at nearly max settings. If you want to know my specs, type in the chat room, exclamation point, specs. Look at this. It's going to be difficult with U2's compression, but uh, this is as close as I can get. I can't crouch right now. Look at the material. The bump map is just... Out of this world, oh my god, you can even see, look on that, um, uh, greenish turquoise pillow, and you can see some of the color 
uh, the light is bouncing off of that chair and carrying some of that red pinkish hue to the back of that throw pillow. God, it's so good. Oh, and look at the lighting here. The reason why I'm taking so long to just gush about all this is because this type of thing is huge for a horror game. Atmosphere, immersion. Oh, check this out. This is so well done. You can actually see, and this is intentional, some compression, some artifacting, some uh, macro blocking. Uh, I completely butchered the pronunciation of that. <laughs> I usually see it written, okay? Anyway, it looks like they're watching a heavily compressed YouTube video on the television, which makes sense considering it's some thing for, you know, kids. People are always putting on YouTube, uh, kids videos on YouTube for some reason. Terrible sight for young children. Anyway, you can see... Hurry up and put Rose to sleep, will you? Jesus. Nag, nag, nag. Actually, she's right. I should go put her to bed. You can see the reflection of the room in the television, which is a really subtle effect, but incredible for immersion, once again. What's this, a baby monitor? And the baby looks incredible, too. This is one of the best-looking ba... Look at those hands! Whenever you see hands on screen, do me a favor, watch them closely, P pay close attention. This game has the most realistic hands I've ever seen. She's wearing a little sweater that kind of matches her mother's. Anyway, you see this slightly bluish hue in certain parts of the baby's forehead, which um, is just so stunningly realistic. You can see her veins very softly. All right, man, that's 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 a realistic looking baby. Look at the knuckles. Oh my god That's some good subsurface scattering. All right, let's go upstairs and look at this. This is a, a rolling bar cart and It's just that's what I'm saying is it's just not it's not just the fidelity. Okay There's a lot of really good-looking games that have no flavor. This game has the art team to back it up All right I spent enough time gushing. Still, I'm gonna look around for any secrets we can find because that's another thing. These Resident Evil games are. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, it seriously was. The baby's lips are uh, like they're shiny with spit, which is something else. That's just a really realistic touch. All these little subtle touches. Man, look at this bathroom. Holy shit. Yeah, if you played Resident Evil 7, you'll understand why she's on strict medication. That Mia makes me really nervous. Check this out. Um, look at the drywalling on that archway. You see how the paint and the drywall itself, it's not completely smooth, it's not perfect. That's a great touch. I mean, most games are starting to have at least that level of fidelity, but still, this looks incredible. This really makes me wish that we got Silent Hill. Not Silent Hills. I'm talking about the Kojima, Guillermo del Toro, Norman Reedus collaboration that was also known as PT. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. Mr. Everything. Is that the Mr. Everything bobblehead? Oh, such incredible soft lighting. We've got ray tracing, there's ray traced lighting, and I believe ray traced reflections as well. By the way, let me know if the volume's good for you guys. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. This could stand to be a little bit darker. Another thing is, we're playing this, uh, on... <laughs> It's, it's a YouTube live stream, for one thing, but this game looks at its its best on an OLED television, okay? HDR, OLED TV. Oh, uh, yeah, that should be a lot better. I think it reset my settings. Yeah. Check it out. You have different... They've got different materials for different uh, types of paint. Here you can see it's much slicker. A bit of a, a tacky look. Curtain closes on the Dolve gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the, into the Dolve toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas, perished. 
Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Of course, that wasn't a gas leak. It was mold. Look at that. You can even see uh, there's a, d a different level of reflectivity in the spots of the wood flooring that have been worn down. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Really impressive. All right. Let's go to the master bedroom and put baby Rose to bed. Look at the difference of lighting between this warm area and the cool bathroom. This is big stuff for a horror game. Your mama and I love this song so much. Almost there, honey. This whole game is practically a tech demo. This sound design is outstanding as well. Like I said though, this game really shines with HDR. Really. Truly. HDR is incredible. And this has, uh, at least as far as I can tell, I haven't <laughs> broken out a calibration monitor or anything. Look at this. Um, the far left side of that cabinet has like ring stains from a drink where some of the finish is worn off that's what i'm saying though it's not just tech demo way it's uh really expertly executed they obviously have a team of extremely talented developers <laughs> well hi there little rose <laughs> <laughs> Gun survivalist, a heavy firearms Some paranoia if they're really out to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's right though. He's living in the Resident Evil universe and he doesn't even know it. How terrible is that? <laughs> oh, check this out. Listen closely. <laughs> you guys hear that? It's really soft. But if you have a scrapbook, you, you'll you recognize that crinkly plastic stiff page sound is... <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to get to the exciting stuff in a second, but that, I'm, I just couldn't believe that is literally the exact sound. They bought a scrapbook at Old Time Pottery or Michael's or something, and they, they foleyed it. They recorded the sound. How was time for bed? My mother, uh, she, she was an awesome mom. Um, she, uh, she made a lot of scrapbooks, and <laughs> anyway, the pages sound exactly the same. It's such a small touch, but I really appreciate that. You can tell they were really passionate about this game. And the thing is, I couldn't tell this from the marketing. I thought the trailers were cool, but overall, the marketing, it didn't do it justice so far. Obviously, I'm just a couple minutes in. Rosemary Winters, screenings, hearing, vision, touch, reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Rose. February 6th, me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring up Rose properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. This is fine. I don't trust Mia. The ending of Resident Evil 7 Ethan aside. Waiting. She's scary when she's angry. <laughs> Ethan is obviously in a domestic abuse case awaiting to happen. Listen to the way she, he talks about her. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. 
Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Even Baby Rose's pants, even the texturing on those pants is incredible. Honestly, this is one of the. Another thing is, that's a realistic looking baby. The faces in, in Resident Evil Village are really good. That baby looks better than some of the digital babies I've seen in movies. And this is a video game, man. Look how good that chair looks. Okay. I'm going to stop gushing about this if, if you guys promise to notice and appreciate the graphics every chance you get. All right. My God. I just, I'm so delightful. I mean, I'm, I'm so delighted. <laughs> I can't even talk. Can we go outside? Hey, keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. You know, she does scare me. I don't like Mia. I don't like Mia at all. Oh, she makes me really goddamn nervous, if I'm being honest. Oh, shit. Was that there before? Oh, looks pretty good. Is she okay? Sleeping like, uh, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be... Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Oh, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't! Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this.
The PlayStation 5 version doesn't have loading screens. Jesus. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off our Fuck. What the hell happened here? Isn't that the understatement of the year? Um, wow. What an intro. Did you happen to see the phone screen? The light coming out of the phone screen was actually refracted because of the cracks in the screen. That's detail. You blink and you miss that, yet they did it. That's really impressive. Uh, someone said that they've watched like eight different streams and they really want to get this game, but they have a base PlayStation 4 and they don't think it'll look as good. Well, it won't, but uh, listen, I'm pretty sure... Uh, don't take my word on this because I have I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that if you eventually if you eventually get a PlayStation 5 uh, I think it's a free upgrade if you have a PlayStation 4 disc or digital of Resident Evil Village I'm pretty sure it's a free upgrade unlike um, Well actually integrate Final Fantasy integrates also a free upgrade unless you have the PS Plus version Mission objectives. Eliminate target recover body secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters move the two Winters is <laughs> To site C for further investigation. What the hell did happen here? Did Lady Demotresk, I mean, Domotresk do this? See, I can't even pick up the phone. All the detail of that cracked phone screen was just for that one uh, brief moment in the cutscene. I really like the transition of the phone ringing with Ethan waking up. Uh, carrying over the phone ringing um, when his work was calling him in that scene with him and Mia. That was well done. Really well done. This is one of those sequels where I feel like I heard about Resident Evil Village in the marketing way more than I heard... I mean, where I heard about Resident Evil 7 in the marketing leading up to release way more than I heard about this game in the marketing leading up to its release. But... I hope this sequel does well, because so far, I'm really excited about it. I'm having a lot of fun. Like I said, unfortunately, I'm streaming at the highest possible settings YouTube allows. But, it's still YouTube, and it still has YouTube's compression. This game is truly stunning in HDR on an OLED television. Apparently, it runs flawlessly on... Did you see how realistic that hand looked? Apparently this game runs flawlessly on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, with the major difference between the two being that Xbox Series X has a slightly higher FPS, but not much. Uh, PlayStation 5 has no loading screens. It's instantaneous, which is kind of cool. But, um... This section here... What the fuck was that? This section here... Um, the lighting, the fog... The volumetric lighting, the way the sun, uh, the way the flashlight hit the trees in the distance, incredibly, incredibly realistic, incredibly executed. If you have an HDR OLED television, consider this game. Holy shit! Look at the detail in those feathers. All right, two seconds. I'm gonna pull up photo mode. Look at this. I swear to God, I'm not going to focus on the graphics this much, but look! Not the whole stream, anyway. The feathers are matted. Individually, too. They didn't really just cop- I mean, I'm sure some of them are repeated, but they didn't really copy and paste it. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. That's absolutely disgusting. Jesus. 
This fog may not look that great, or rather the, the snow drift may not look that great on the stream, but I swear in person it's incredible. I'm curious what you guys prefer. Do you prefer first person Resident Evil or third person Resident Evil? Actually, ironically, I think that this game strikes an excellent balance between Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 7. If you thought Resident Evil 7 was a little too... Holy shit, look at that. You got some silt. That's beautiful. If you felt like Resident Evil 7 was a little too much like Outlast, and if you felt the action at the end of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard was kind of at odds with the beginning of it, and if you thought the mold monsters were a little repetitive, that's something that this game really improves upon. This has got to be the most realistic looking hand I've ever seen in a video game. All right. I was actually wondering when I was playing the demos how Ethan ended up in Europe. Turns out they just moved there. <laughs> or did they just move there? Sometimes in the Resident Evil universe, there's a bit of an invisible hand at work. Maybe Ethan and Mia moved to Europe for reasons that weren't as independent as they once thought. Well, actually, you know, it was probably Chris... What the fuck was that? It was probably Chris Redfield that orchestrated part of that. That's some good looking blood. Oh fuck, that's blood. <laughs> yeah, great. We got an evil dead stairwell. Alright, what the hell? Let's go check it out. Oh my god! That's the most realistic rotten banana I've ever seen. So this room, there's a bug when you go downstairs. The fox on the left moves when you come back up. Going down is behind the lantern. Is that a bug or is it... One of the lichens screwing around with you? Could be either. Look at that, even the detail in the brush, you can see the, uh... <laughs> The, the whiskers of the brush, they're worn down and frayed at the tips. Alright, I promise. I'm gonna stop uh, agonizing over the details. But this game's... Jesus, fuck. This game's f full of details. I can't see shit down here. Oh, that's not suspicious. <sighs> I wish this game was in VR. <laughs> I mean, this is awesome. But the VR mode for Resident Evil 7. Absolutely incredible. If you didn't have a PlayStation VR unit, I, f I really feel sorry for you. It's such a shame that that was PSVR exclusive. Most realistic hands I have ever seen in a video game. Really good Who stuff. Did all this? <laughs> Holy shit, that is cool. This lighting is truly outstanding. 
So, this game is semi-open world. I guess, kind of like God of War in a way. Linear open world, you could say. It's got certain sections where you have a certain degree of freedom, but, you know, it's not fully open world. Which I think is actually an asset for a game where like this. Where the hell am I? That's beautiful. This game's a lot bigger than you may think in that it's not just uh, Castle Dumatresque. <laughs> it's not just the village. There's... I, I kind of want to... I want to call them Doms. It's kind of like the Mafia. You've got Lady Dumatresque, of course, but you also have uh, the Fisher King, I believe he's called. There's this ventriloquist dummy, which is pretty damn creepy. The Japanese developers were actually shocked to find out that Americans found the the ventriloquist dummy the creepiest of all. I don't know why they would be shocked about that. I hate dummies myself. <laughs> hey look, it's my horse in Red Dead. Ugh. If you guys are just joining us, welcome. We just started. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. We're just getting started. Maybe, maybe they're out. Yeah, Ethan. Looks like they just stepped out. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary here. Anyway, this is the very beginning of the game, so I wouldn't worry about spoilers. It's so exciting that we're out of the demo. We can actually find a lockpick. God, the detail. Mother Miranda. Awfully creepy. Stuffing's ripped out of the pillows. These lichens are really cool enemies. You'll meet them eventually. This is legitimately one of the best looking games I have ever seen. I'm gonna stop praising the graphics starting now. Promise. Shit. Wish I had a knife or something. Actually, you know what? We might be able to find a knife in this kitchen. Let's take a look. You know, we could just pick up a piece of the bowl. <laughs> it's better than nothing. No, nothing in here we can use. By the way, guys, we're playing on the PC version. Everything's about at max settings. We've got ray tracing at max settings. This is a really well-optimized game. It's only 30 gigabytes, and it looks fantastic. If you want to know my system specs, type in the chat room exclamation point specs. No space. I'm all... <laughs> I was gonna say, I've only got a 2080 Ti. Only. Well, in a world with 3080s and 3090s, I guess the 2080 Ti certainly isn't top dog anymore. I'm not sure how it stacks up against a 3060 or a 3070. I've lost track of graphics cards. If I can't buy them, I have no interest in them. Goddamn scalpers. What happened? The developers have said there's a lot of verticality in the village, so I'm trying to keep an eye above me as well as ahead of me. The lichens, they like to use the rooftops for traversal. Locked due to missing homeowner. Well, let's consider it. I guess we'll keep an eye out for either bolt cutters or a key. Ethan needs a long vacation. Maybe take a couple years off. <laughs> yeah, maybe now that me is dead. It's not a spoiler, it happens in the first three minutes, and uh, if you guys are watching this, then that's at least something that you've got to be willing to be spoiled about. Thank you for the super chat, Justin. The fuck was that? Oh, hell yeah. It's not much, but it's something. Look at this, this is incredible. One of the reasons why this game looks so good is because it has 
uh, static lighting. I mean, it's got real-time ray tracing, but it doesn't have a day-night cycle. At least I'm almost positive it doesn't have a day-night cycle. Regardless, it's not really that dynamic. It's pretty controlled, which is how they're able to make it look this damn good. Did they just run out of the house? Even the liquid looks fantastic. <laughs> Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road and... What's going on? Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Tell me it's out there. Hey, are you listening? through the events of Resident Evil 7 and he's like a, a, a dead body wait there's more <laughs> classic Jesus Christ what the hell is wrong with this place huh Ethan's hands, man. Ethan's fucking hands. He's always getting his hands all gnarled up. Ah, I should have blocked. I don't know what I'm thinking. So I'm playing with a controller to make these combat encounters extra scary. <laughs> These controllers suck for aiming. I tell you what, though, I do miss the DualSense 5 features. I mean, the DualSense. I keep forgetting it's not a part of the dual shock line. God, these guys take a lot of bullets. I actually like that, though. The more I fight these lichens, the more I appreciate their strength. They're actually really fun what enemies. The hell? I really like those guys. I'm interested to fight more of the Draugr? Draugr? The zombies. Oh, hell yeah. And we just gotta find some herbs. If you guys are just joining up, welcome. We just started the game. We're really early. I'm really liking this game. I'm really liking the combat. So, we couldn't get another Resident Evil 7. That was definitely our introduction, our ushering into this new era of Resident Evil games, first-person Resident Evil games. We were never going to get another game exactly like that. It's just too limited. Crap. Alright, we're going to find some bolt cutters. <laughs> I guess we're going back in the house. Shit. 
Ten bullets. If we're careful with our aim, that's enough to get another one of those lichens taken care of. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, look at that lighting, man. The different, I mean, the uh, contrast of the warmth and the coolness. Ah, oh, fantastic lighting engine. Really like re-engine. It's fantastic. Good stuff. Again, this game's only 28 gigabytes. I can't get over that. I actually, when Steam said, uh, where do you want to install this? It's 28 gigabytes. I googled the size to make sure that I wasn't accidentally installing the demo. Something else that's really cool is how thick the blood is. The blood is just so... Uh, syrupy and congealed. <laughs> Very fun. Alright, I guess we have to go inside. Oh, nice. Shit. This is one of the fun uh, gameplay elements, is that you get to barricade yourself in houses. Sometimes these lichens, I don't know if they're gonna do it this time, but sometimes they, uh, <laughs> they come in packs and they swarm you. Look at that, we got some blood dripping from the ceiling. I wonder if we have one of them up there. Even the stairs are trying to jump scare me. Huh, ah, chem fluid. Alright, 15 bullets. Actually, <laughs> we got way more bullets than that. Sweet. We got 30. Shit. Coming in from all sides. Alright, that's way more lichens than I have bullets. Fuck. How the hell do I get out of here? Shit, man. Alright, I'm gonna kill a guy near the door. See if I can slip out without the others noticing. Anyway, you're gonna notice some gameplay elements that kind of harken back to Resident Evil 4. Fuck. Oh shit! Biohazard was a bit of a walking simulator. I loved it, but I mean, shit. <laughs> That was definitely always meant to be an introduction to, uh, this new era of Resident Evil. And, personally, so far, I haven't played very much, but so far, I think this is like the perfect evolution for this new era of Resident Evil. Because the action is really fun. Especially if you turn off aiming acceleration. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> Wow, so he keeps his lay in his underwear. Disgusting. Holy shit! That's a fun effect. That's Easy. really cool. Over. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Why'd she say my house and then correct herself and say Louise's house? <laughs> oh, what is that, squatter's rights? Louise got her head eaten by a lichen and now she's decided to move in. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Look, look at him, look at him, look at him. He sees me. He sees me seeing him. He's waiting for it. The bastards. What about him? Does he see? Oh, now he sees me. Look at their hair physics. That's so fun. These guys love the rooftops. Don't just keep an eye ahead of you. Keep an eye above you. 
Look at that. They slunk away. I don't know where they went. We got plenty of ammo for them. Got a fully fledged bullet buffet. Shit. Look at that. I think those are the two. No, are they the same? No, no, they're bald. You know what? Damn it. Defensive positions, let's barricade ourselves in. What else we got? Holy shit! Look at that window, man! It's all fogged up! That's fantastic! Nice! I'll take everything I can get. We're gonna play this smart. They can break through those barricades eventually. These aren't just zombies, so they can use tools. Oh fuck, he's using a crowbar. Alright, let's hurry up. Oh, shit. Check this out. You can use bags of flour to create an obfuscation, and then, uh, that will aid in your escape. This is just dumb animals. And I wore an ape. What are they? Half wolf? <laughs> I'd rather be all ape than half wolf. There's no end to them. Oh, shit. Who the fuck is shooting fire arrows? <laughs> Can the light can shoot arrows? Jesus Christ. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit! Shit! Holy shit, that guy's got a mallet! Who the fuck is shooting arrows? Oh my god, the whole town's on fire. It's like the Hobbit when smog attacks. Shit! Alright, I'm gonna get in the house somehow. I barricade that door? Yes, I can. Thank God for that. Is there anything useful in here? Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, let's take stock. Got 27 handgun. And two shotgun shells? No, no, we got six shotgun shells. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and craft some more herbs real quick. We got an explosive barrel in here. We might be able to lure some of them in and then shoot from up here, I don't know. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Holy fuck! Fuck! Shit, man! Look how good their hair looks! Can I kick? I've seen it to do a Spartan kick before now. How the hell do I do it? Nice! <laughs> Holy shit, that guy's big. Fuck! Shit! Alright, you know what? I'm gonna start using the mouse and keyboard. Let's go. Oh man, that's so much better. Holy shit! That's a good shot. That was a damn good shot. Shit, there's, there's more lichens than we have bullets. And it takes a lot of fucking bullets to get these guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Whenever you aim at them, they get a little, uh, they get a little nervous. Alright, they've got a fight and flight instinct. Although they don't really fly. Fuck! Holy shit! <laughs> anyway, if you're aiming at them, look at this. See, they're gonna stop. They're gonna reconsider. Fuck! But shit! 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 Hold up. We're getting a little bit of uh. Server issues. Actually, it was fine. It was just a blip. Anyway, when you're aiming at them, they're gonna stop and reconsider. They're gonna reposition themselves. But whoever you're not aiming at. Yeah. <laughs> 
wait a second. What the hell were they running from? I didn't know they rode horses. It's pretty goddamn weird. I've seen this crest a few times now. I wonder what it means. I don't think it has anything to do with Mother Miranda. Maybe her. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? I was too worried about the timer during the demo to actually hear that Mother Miranda brought Rose to the village. Alright, so, oh my god, this looks so damn good. This is the PC version we're running on. This is the demo. We're just gonna speed through this, because we've already seen it a million times. I myself played the demo like three times. I wonder what that slash of yellow's for. Anyway, I recommend shooting these little guys. <laughs> it's cruel, but it's a cruel world. Check it out. Watch this. They give you lay. Or lay? I think that's how it's actually pronounced. Now we can finally get at all these secrets. Nevertheless, we're gonna get past the demo section quickly. Welcome, guys. Is Ethan Mother Miranda? That's a... That's a theory. That's a, that's a weird theory. You know... That's a weird-looking rendition of Mother Miranda. Looks awfully... <laughs> ...modern. And of course, Domitresk. I can't believe Eurogamer said that Capcom said that the official pronunciation is... ...Dimitrice. When Ethan says it's Domitresk! Anyway, um... There's different houses. She's one of the houses. As you can see, there's four portraits opposite this, uh... Or to either side of this portrait of Mother Miranda. We've got the ventriloquist. I don't know which one's the Fisher King. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's the Fisher King. And then you got this guy. I don't remember exactly what he is. But, let's see if they've still got this secret up here. Yeah, they do. Should I waste a bullet for it? <laughs> Shit. We only have three bullets left for our pistol. Luckily, I know where we can find some more. I'm fairly familiar with this part of the village. Yellow shows you the way. Okay, it's good to know. Look, you can see him running around. At first, I thought when the grass is moving, it's just an effect, and they're not necessarily in the grass, but no, they are. If you look closely, you can actually see them moving around. The tricky bastards. Fuck! Shit! Thought I saw a person in here. <laughs> oh, maybe I did. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's get out. What do we need to craft bullets? 
Hmm. Just gunpowder and scrap. Ethan losing his hand to the lichens reminds me of Roland losing his, or losing some of his fingers to, uh, the lobstrosities. Got a chick, did a chum. Disgusting creatures. I really like the lichen AI. At first, when I saw the trailers, I thought the lichens looked kind of silly, but I've changed my mind. I think they're really fun enemies. I like how their hair swishes and sways back and forth like Jan Brady whenever they're uh, really lurching around. It's cool. It's a cool effect. And they got some fun AI. They'll tuck. They'll dodge. They'll roll. They'll tuck and roll. Additionally, they've got some pack mentality. Whoever you're aiming at is going to be a little more cautious. Yet, whoever you're not aiming at is uh, going to take the initiative. So, you got to be careful which of the pack you're aiming for. Which is fun. Ah, there he is. The bastard. Shit. And they can tell when you can't see him all that well. Like when you're in... They have a visibility, like, detection system. See? See? They're real careful when they're in your line of sight, or when they're in your line of sight. Excuse me. I'm trying to focus here. I'm aiming with a controller after all. Shit! Fuck this. I'm gonna use the mouse and keyboard. Guys, take a lot of bullets. Which is part of the point. <clears throat> they're not like zombies. Actually, zombies take a fair amount of bullets. But they're supposed to be relatively superhuman in strength. So they have some superhuman uh, uh, integrity or resilience. Damn it, I forgot there were three in here. Come on, jump, Ethan! My one. Negative is the fact that you don't have a dedicated vault button, which is kind of clunky. I don't really care for that. Damn it, these guys are hard to hit. Alright, let's craft some ammo on the fly. Oh, fuck, I forgot I got a reload! Idiot! It's a lot easier when you got only one of them coming after you. Yeah, you're right. It is a waste of bullets. I should just, uh, I should just evade them. Save our ammunition for something more important. Wait, the legs and the arms are the weak spot, not the head? <laughs> the head pops like a watermelon. So satisfying. Close the door. Please. Hey, what are you doing here? Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> <coughs> ah. 
What's up, Dylan? Welcome, Anthony. I haven't done any welcomes yet. How rude of me. Welcome, that's not the point. Welcome, RG. Welcome, Dennis. Welcome, Crazy Ivan. Welcome, RG. Welcome, K. Kuro. Welcome, Gaming Sky's the Limit. I know some of you guys aren't just joining, but I never did welcome you. You can't jump, and there's no dedicated vault button, which is a little bit disappointing. It's an interesting choice. I mean, theoretically, it's well, why have a dedicated uh, vault button when you can just walk up to what you want to vault over, but it isn't that good at detecting when you want to vault. Oh, right. I'm gonna just screwdriver for that. I'm just seeing if there's anything here in the full game that wasn't in the demo. Come on, it's clear. Hurry, hurry! Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's <laughs> answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters! Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, and so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Her mouth is incredibly realistically animated. Her, she kind of reminds me of uh, Grace Zabriskie. I don't know if you guys have heard of her. She was Susan's mother from Seinfeld. She was also... Um, Laura Palmer's mother from Twin Peaks. God damn, look how good this looks. One of you asked if I was playing on a 3080. I'm playing on a 2080 Ti. I've got pretty much everything on max settings. Ray tracing on max settings. This looks really good. If you want to know my full system specs, type in the chat room exclamation point specs. I'm just we're still in the demo area. Um we played the beginning of the game, which wasn't shown in the demo, but so far we're still in demo territory. I'm just seeing, making sure that there's no secrets. Because we've found a lot of stuff in the demo that was kind of locked off away from us. And I'm just checking if we can access any of that stuff. Oh, cool. This is the first typewriter we found. Louisa, they broke in again, got more of the line stock. I don't think we'll make it through the winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing, too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? I don't think Mother Miranda is one of the good guys. In fact, I've got a theory that she's one of the big bads. If not THE big bad. Come inside. The others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right. Anton, he helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? 
There is no one left. A worthless invalid. A stupid, wailing bitch. And you, you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's... That's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Even that. <laughs> Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> Elena, Elena, no. There's nothing you can do. Papa! This entire place yeah. is collapsing. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone. No, we're getting out of here together. That fire. I gotta get out of here. The fire from the lantern truly looked excellent. Once again, this is the PC version of the game. I'm running this at 4K, downsampled to 1440p for the purposes of the stream. And, uh, well, it looks fantastic. One of you asked if it looks better than the PlayStation 5 version. Much, much better, but it's also much more expensive than a PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are great value for your money. Wait, what does this say? Right, take the screwdriver out of the key ring. I love... Uh, this is basically a little tutorial 
that's showing you to examine items in more detail. Like this little area. There we go. Got everything we need. I wonder if there's a lockpick in here. We searched everywhere. Look! The potatoes have eyes. We searched everywhere for a lockpick in the demo and we couldn't find one. I'm wondering if they just took it out of the demo and if there is one in this area. I don't see one. No, I don't think there is. Alright, let's get out of here. <coughs> the ray tracing's just really, really well done. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <sighs> <coughs> I got pretty much everything at max settings, except I turned off stuff like depth of field, I turned off uh, film grain, I turned off uh, lens distortion and chromatic aberration. What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. No more to go but up. Grab on. Hurry. Let's move. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> you're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. <coughs> That'd be good. Come on, it'll hold. <coughs> Talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're. Father? Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> he said my name. Father! Wait, it's not safe. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stay there! Come on! Give me your hand! Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Elena, don't give up! Reach for me! God damn it! Why is everyone dying on me? This is... This is just too much. Holy shit, they did- they changed it. They changed the line. There's a line in this very I scene. Just, I don't get it. Wow, they changed the whole script of this section. I can't believe it. To be fair, the, in the demo, it was... It was ridiculous. It was... It, it was funny. It almost uh, came across as satire. Smart choice. I'm actually shocked that they changed that from the demo. I guess they must have uh, gotten... This is going mad. Yeah, they changed the whole thing. That's what amazing. fuck is this happening again? <laughs> oh, shit! Holy shit, that's so much better. Wow. It really was terrible. Last time around in the demo, the script there was awful. He was like, um, 
Oh, I can't remember. I can't even do it justice, but... Why is everyone dying? It's kind of like that. It was like those old uh, House of the Dead games. You remember those? Those cutscenes? Was... <laughs> it's just like that. Okay, we're almost out of the demo area. If you guys are just joining in, we're not even close to spoiler territory yet. If you play the demo, that's where we are. Mother Miranda! <laughs> who, who was... What was that? You know, it's possible that there's a Scooby-Doo scenario going on here and that actually isn't Mother Miranda, but someone simply masquerading as her. She's not tall enough to be a Lady Domitresque, so... That's not the one faking it. Who could it be? Is Death. Mia? Yes. Death has visited them all. <laughs> I like how she has the skull laugh along with her. That's fun. This game has character. Wonder what her story is. God damn, this really does look good. Honestly, this looks good on all platforms. Okay, Guess Castle down with your ask. We're gonna go there in just a second, but first, there's a treasure over here. Takes just a second. I, rec I recommend picking it up. Um. See if I can knock it over with the knife. <laughs> Damn it, I gotta waste a bullet for this. That's a shame. So this game's semi-open world is a linear open world, kind of like God of, God of War, but... I'm pretty sure that there's nothing else that we can do in the village until we head to Castle Damutresk. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now, except this house. There's a couple supplies we can grab. We may as well do that now. Well, maybe this game doesn't look so good on base Xbox One, but PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox One X, you know? Oh, great lichens, the fabled monstered wolves of lore. May they come to eat our flesh, may they come to tear us apart. There's one in every village. I gotta say, I really do like the lichens. I thought I wouldn't, but they're really fun enemies. They kind of remind me of the AI from Rage. I don't know if you guys ever played that game, but that game had some good AI. Solid gameplay, Lou. Very pleased. All right, let's get in the castle. By the way, shoot any crows you see. Gives you money. The graphics really are outstanding. Something that I really am impressed by are the materials. Like, this stone, for example. It has a worn patina that feels very authentic. Nothing but blood and death. Huh? Oh, shit. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna switch to the mouse and keyboard. Let's see if we can do this. Damn. Okay, this is pretty cool. We're into uh, territory outside of the demo now. Nice. So this is the entrance to the castle. Oh, that is cool. I really cannot praise the lighting enough. Trust me, YouTube just it doesn't do this game justice. I'm streaming with the best possible settings. But, I mean, this game, if you're playing it in person on an OLED television with HDR, 
This is genuinely one of the best looking games I've ever played. Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> Resident Evil's back. Wait, you're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> There's no loading screens on the PlayStation. Of no real use to anyone else. And my daughters do so love entertaining foreigners. <laughs> Furthermore, I can show you that you entrust the mortal to house in the house. My daughters and I will deliver to you. Yeah, find way ugly as I want to see. <laughs> He's awake! Fuzzy, shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me. And I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Oh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Gag, gag, as a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well Oh, to keep growing! One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight, fight, fight! Hey, don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no argument. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen! We thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! Let's see what you have there. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, showtime! Ah, Jesus Christ! That's right! Run for your life! Shit! Very nice, Ethan! <laughs> They say. 
I got distracted my, by my own greed. It wouldn't let me break the box. I guess you can't break the box with your hands cuffed. I thought maybe he'd kick it. <laughs> okay. This is this is a blast. I can't believe this was cut out of the demo. Well, I mean, it wasn't included in the demo for a reason, but I can't believe how much fun has been obfuscated from our view. Ah, Jesus Christ! That's right. Run for your life. Very nice, Ethan. <laughs> This game's got character. It's Wait, fantastic. Those freaks have Rose. <laughs> How clever! Uh, the, the giant death machine broke the boxes for us. It's ironic that the boxes are what killed me originally. Damn, this looks good. Honestly, for me personally, I love how some skin's still on him. It's all leathery and decayed. Disgusting. Oh, that's well done. That's good shit. Fuck, this looks good. This is such a departure from Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It's like a marriage between Biohazard and Resident Evil 4 in the best possible sense. For me personally. I love Biohazard, but this is such an upgrade. Heisenberg, man. That's a cool character. I like him. We didn't really see much of him in the trailers, mainly uh, Lady Delmatresk, but he's, he seems just as cool as she did. Most realistic hands I've ever seen in a video game. By the way, I recommend watching a 1440p if you can. This is the PC version. We got everything running at max settings. We're currently making our way up to Castle Dimutresk. Ethan thinks that's where Rose is being held captive. Rose is his uh, daughter. You know, it's kind of funny. Oh, what? Uh, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. 
Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Oh, good. I was just thinking I have something special today. I like the shop. This is, this is so classic. You know what? It's a shame that more games don't have UI like this. So many games have UI that's like... You remember Star Wars Battlefront 2015? Personally, I do like that UI, but it feels like every game has this ultra-clean UI. Because they're afraid of looking, uh, I don't know, antiquated. They're afraid of looking too corny, maybe, or cheesy. But I like this. I like the fonts. <laughs> you know what? We don't really have much money, do we? We should probably save up. This stuff is a little more expensive in the full game than it was in the demo. Yeah, we, we can barely afford anything. Uh... Looks like that's free. Weird. I see. Anything else? First one's free, I guess. <laughs> nice. We just got a lockpick. Only one. We're gonna have to use that carefully. Wait, what's this? Cool. We're gonna save our money. Wait a second. So wh what is with this? Why is that zero? That's not selling. It says select an item to purchase. Yeah, what's up? What's up with this? Look, 1,000, zero. I don't see any difference between the two. Okay, you know what? It says we have a stock of five. Let's see what happens when we purchase this. Yeah, how many would you like? So we're not selling. <laughs> Oh, you know what this is? This is for pre-ordering the game, I'm pretty sure. I saw you eyeing that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> well, we got I'm a little helping. All sorts of weapons modifications. This is where we too. sell. We got these crystal fragments. We may as well sell them now. <laughs> to think I would buy such things. Okay. I'm not going to upgrade anything just yet. A good deal, if I say so myself. The graphics in this game are seriously impressive. Re-engine's amazing. Here, check this out. Check out his diabetes foot. Look at the detail in those toes. Look at the look at the bottom of his foot. That's amazing. That is a hell of a lot of detail for something that you're never going to see this close unless you're in photo mode. Look at the uh, the tattered, worn holes in his garment. That's good shit. That is good shit. Look, it's kind of scaly. The buttons! Oh, the detail is just exquisite. Oh, check this out. Look at the detail in that ring. When are you ever going to see the ring that close? You're never going to see it that close in normal gameplay, and yet they have exquisite detailing. Everywhere you look. Look at this. Look at this stuff, man. They've got a hell of a lot of passion. This game is such a startling departure from Resident Evil 7. Oh, uh, hold on. Check this out. Oh, that is so fucking cool. Look how good that lighter's flame looks. Holy shit, it's sparking. It's a hell of a game. It's a hell of an engine. And again, look at the detail on his skin. <laughs> Not everybody is going to be a fan of the fact that this is much less a straight horror game than Resident Evil 7 was. But I am. It really feels like they're, it's coming into its own. By the way, this game has incredible fidelity, but... More importantly, it has an incredible art team. This Romanian-styled castle is truly inspired. This is one of the best-looking castles I've seen in a video game. It's incredibly authentic, but it's just exquisitely detailed. Opulent, really. Lady uh, Dumitrescu has expensive taste, that's for sure. Welcome to Castle Dumitrescu. <sighs> A 
Apparently, even though Ethan pronounces it uh, Damutresk, the Romanian pronunciation would be Damutrescu. Check this out. I promise I'm not going to spend too much time at the uh, talking about the graphics, but look at the different materials for the different woods. They have different patinas, and the lighting reflects differently upon these different types of wood. Could Rose be here? Again, it's not just the fidelity. It's the incredible art direction. Check this out. Look at this, man. Even the ceilings. Which, what, what, a, maybe 5% of the players look at the ceilings? Oh, God. Hey, we've been in this room. This was in the demo. Hell yeah, it's a lot of lay. Man, I've been so excited about exploring this castle, and now we actually have it. The full castle. Oh yeah, you can break these pots. <laughs> it looks so good. You can break these too. Oh. Oh, she's gonna be pissed. These are Lady Demotresk's daughters. They're also the witches with the, um, well, they're not really witches. They're the girls with the bugs flying around them. Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. I really love the art, too. This, so many times when you see an art of a certain era reproduced for a video game, it's just, there's something a little off about it, but they got some fantastic artists if you really look up close at some of these paintings you'll find in Castle Demetresque, it's stunningly executed. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, let's just play. I could do this all day. January 5th, Rednick. Delivery of one male, three females. January 28th, Mother Miranda. Meeting with Mistress, Mistress Demetresque. The Duke. Business discussions. We're gonna ransack every single drawer in this place. What's up, guys? Welcome, Morel Low. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name correctly. What difficulty are we playing at? We're playing at normal difficulty, but I'm actually thinking of bumping it up. Even the lace is gorgeous. Again, this is the PC version of the game. I'm just running this on a 2080 Ti. I don't have a 3080 yet. I'm playing at 4K. Everything's at max settings, and, uh, it's a pretty solid 60 FPS. <laughs> oh, shit. When Ethan Winters wakes up in that room, I guess that was just done for the demo. That's really cool. I gotta say, this is fucking awesome, man. Capcom was really weird about the demo with the timers and everything, but I respect the hell out of any developer that makes a unique demo to circumvent spoilers. Mask the angel's blinded gaze. Looking for Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> ah, now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. <laughs> yes, Mother. Yes, Mother. <laughs> Hmm. 
starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. What am I? Hey, hey, wait. <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 are you, what are you doing? Guys, I think I might be a little smitten. This game is so fucking well done. I am a fan. How the hell do we get down? Oh. Oh, that's metal. Oh! Did he fuck? He just, did he just split his fucking hand? Oh! What the fuck is with Ethan and his fucking hands? Crazy witches. <laughs> oh, I see what they did there. I got a theory. So, uh, when Lady Domitresque sucked Ethan's hand, I think. Because remember what happened to Ethan's hand in the first game. I'm pretty sure that's going to come back to bite her in the ass. I'm pretty sure that Ethan still has the mold in his system. And that sh the Lady Domitresque <laughs> just ingested it. And that's not going to be good for anybody. Hell, that may actually make her stronger, who knows. Look at this. Look at this architecture. God, the ceiling is stunning. Really fantastic game. Also... Lady Domitresque, even this chair. Like, if you really look at everything, it's truly fucking incredible. God damn. God damn, this is... You know what? If I'm grading across the board, broad strokes, this is maybe the best-looking game I have ever played. It may not have the... Uh, oh, shit. We got a lockpick. Should we use our single... Lock pick on this dresser. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. I hope it's worth it. Ha! <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know if I just sold myself cheap, but shotgun shells. What is that? 400 lay? Anyway, um. Maybe The Last of Us 2 has better animations, but I mean, fuck. At least during cutscenes, the animations are out of this world. And Lady Domitresque's character design is, it's fucking, it's fucking jazz, man. It's inspired. Fuck, it's good shit. All right, listen, from this point on, don't listen to a goddamn word I say about this game. I, I, I feel myself becoming more and more biased as I, the more I play this. Even that rope looks incredible. Yeah, for me, this is... I think this is going to be my favorite Resident Evil. So far, I mean, I just started playing. We're really early in, so I should shut up. But I'm loving it so far. Holy shit, look at the detail on that braided rope. Oh, God. I've been really excited about exploring this castle. I'm hoping that there's a lot of nooks and crannies for us to explore. A lot of secret passageways. Mm. I keep forgetting that we're actually in the full game and everything's available to us. No more timers. No more hidden walls. God damn, it looks so good. Is that the... Shit, that kind of looks like the ventriloquist dummy we saw earlier. 
So, Lady Demetresque's castle. <laughs> oh, wait, I remember this room. Lady Demetresque's castle is just one section of the game. There's also the Fisher King, there's her little brother Heisenberg, there's, uh... Someone else who I'm for- oh, the, the dummy. So, yeah. Fisher King, Lady Demetresque, the ventriloquist dummy, and Heisenberg. That's four. Four bads. I don't know who the big bad is. Is that one of her daughters? <laughs> oh, look at that waist cincher. That's a killer. Fuck, this is the best looking game I've ever played. Oh my god. I'm a huge, huge fan. I'm fucking biased, man. Where have they taken Rose? Oh my god. The Angel of Sadness weeps alone in a deep, dark place. The Angel of Pleasure appreciates art, best kept behind a gilded door. The Angel of Happiness is visage, uh, visage blah, blah, looks on, words of wisdom by her side. I'm guessing these are uh, hints on where we find the heads. The Angel of Anger looks down in rage from on high. Hell, maybe that head's in here. Look at the materials, though. That actually looks like plaster, and this actually looks like it has the properties of mar uh, marble, especially how the highlights are just blown out. That's good stuff. So what did this say? Mask the angel's blinded gaze, and only then will you be saved. I guess that's how we get out of the door. Hello, Duke. Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where well, there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? I got a theory. Um, Ethan doesn't know how to fucking pronounce Romanian names. And Damatresk is not how it's pronounced. Oh my god, look at those buttons. Fuck, look! Oh, wait, shit. Damn it. Look at the detail, you've got cross-stitching! Holding the button in place, oh my god. That's so fucking good. And if you look really closely in the buttonhole, it's uh, it's got the, it's got ridges, in the in the fabric making the loop hole itself, just like in real life. <laughs> You've also got this sheen uh, that's kind of catching the light very subtly on his uh, waistcoat, and look at his skin. Look at that. Diabetes. Even the cigar, it has, uh, roll creases. Look at the detail on these fucking rings, man. All right, that's enough. I'm very impressed. I fucking love this game. Subsurface scattering is really well done as well. You can see that on his hands. Whenever you see Ethan's hands, pay close attention. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, I, uh, there's a crystal skull that I forgot. Fuck! So, in the beginning of the game, um, there's a crystal skull on top of one of the rooftops. It's the highest rooftop that you'll encounter in the very beginning. Look at that. It's got a glaze over it. Oh, my God. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking about the graphics, I promise. The only thing that looks a little weird, the only thing that's a little bit off about the graphics is that one door. Everyone, every once in a while, you'll see this door, and the lighting just will not match. I understand it's a different material, but it still doesn't quite match. Make no mistake, uh, this game looks way better in person. This is a YouTube live stream, so it's all compressed to hell. But if you see this game on an OLED television in HDR, the PC version, or the PS5 version even, it's one of the best fucking looking games I've ever seen in my goddamn life. It really, truly is. Fuck. Oh, man. I really wish I could just bring you guys in here and show you on an OLED television how good this game looks. <sighs> is this Dominic one of her daughters? 
Sick. It's a special blend. <laughs> it's a village blend, literally. You know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Well, in this case, it takes a village to make a good bottle. <laughs> oh. The Duke looks like the blob the Wolverine was fighting. Yeah, I guess he kind of does. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitres can be traced back as far as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcinia Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Thick indeed. Her best vintage is Sangui Verging, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. I don't think I've seen that bottle yet, but that is where we need to take the bottle and place it for a, some sort of a secret. Which we can now do because it's the full game, baby. No more demo. Yeah, I'm playing this on a 2080 Ti. So, you know, considering I only have a 2080 Ti, this is running pretty damn well. I'm pretty sure that the 3080 is just a myth. I mean, I haven't seen one, have you? I haven't seen a 3090 either. Who's to say they even exist? Locked from the other side. Looks like a statue of Mother Miranda. God damn, this castle looks so good. <laughs> Oh, by the way, we're running this at 4K on a 2080 Ti. It's practically a rock-solid 60. We've got just about everything at max settings. We've got ray tracing maxed out. Um, the ambient occlusion in this game is well worth it if you can run it, but it's a little intensive. Love. Oh shit! I, I love the character designs. Any Anything in here? Nope. Oh god. <sighs> I fucking love how they don't even use doors. That's how powerful <laughs> they are. Look wonderful mounted in our shit. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> You're finished. <sighs> not going to be able to explore that wing of the castle. Well, we might make our way back up there. I don't know. We've read this a myriad of times, so I'm not going to reread it. I'm sure that would really <laughs> annoy you guys. That's a good-looking rotten banana. Yo, Ethan Winter's hands get more abuse than the main character of Far Cry 2. Popeye's biscuits. Oh man. There's the special ingredient for her wine. Thick bouquet. Oh shit, that's a woman. Hey. Hey, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but in the demo that didn't have red fingernail polish, did it? I'm pretty sure it was a man's hand. No, it's a woman's. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Oh fuck. I never noticed how big this goddamn chair is. Shit. Yeah, look how wide that seat is. It smells funky. 
Look how small those chairs are in comparison. <laughs> or there's anyone. I hope that's an eraser head reference. Hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of ammo laying around for people that probably don't use guns. Still locked. <laughs> that's a goddamn hell of a chair. Memes aside, death by snoo snoo aside, yeah, ha ha. She's, she's very attractive, you know, yeah. But that aside, her character design is legitimately fantastic. Stroke a genius. Her dress, that enormous hat, somehow it incredibly accentuates her massive form. It, it's stroke of genius. Seriously, that hat especially. Stroke of genius. Something about that goddamn hat. Look, look at the subsurface scattering on Ethan's fingers. Oh my god, these are the best looking hands I've ever seen in a video game. Seriously. Bar none. This... I'm fucking biased, guys. Guys, you gotta help me. I fucking love this game. Holy shit. There's something about it. There's some quality about it I can't even really put into words. It's got such a character. It's got such confidence in its direction. Between Heisenberg, Lady Dimitrescu, uh, that weird saw, like, um, obstacle course in the beginning of the game that we encountered. That shit's wild, man. That shit's fucking wild. Oh, she kinky too. Look at this. Oh, shit. Where does your junk go? Really, though? <laughs> it's covered in junk. Yeah, I bet it is. Shit, this is where they have fun. Look at that lighting. This game has ray traced lighting and some uh, ray traced reflections as well. Oh man, the voice actress for Lady Dimitrescu. Oh god, what a fucking great voice actress. She's got a voice that you don't really hear too often, you know? Oh! That's cool. That's very fucking cool. This is the quintessential dungeon. There's another thing about this game, the art direction is really inspired. There's so many... Oh, that's classic. Oh, that's quintessential. Yet, they make it their own. Candidates. Rejects. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot of rejects. I don't recognize any of the names. Absolutely vile. They've already got mods for this game. <laughs> I guess you guys have seen the Barney mod where it... Uh, I think the normal enemies are maybe Lady Dimitrescu's daughters. Um, they turn into Barney. The big purple dinosaur. Also, there's a mod that has Lady Dimitrescu's head replaced with Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> That's why I bought the PC version. Robust appetite. Are they making lichens? Or no, these are all women. What the hell are they doing down here? Fuck! Fucking gets me every time. Oh, that's a weird glitch. What the fuck? Look at that. It's Oh, maybe this is half of an Iron Maiden or something. I seem to remember in the demo that that was a gory undercarriage. Let's see these. No, I think that's a glitch. Yeah, I remember there being intestines and everything. What is this, the Chinese edit? Shit, you hear that? There's, uh... There's some creatures down here. And they take a hell of a lot of bullets. the hell is this? Fancy metal scrap. Look at that. Oh, shit. That is a shockingly realistic, um, charred corpse. I tell you what, the Mortal Kombat movie that just came out. 
This editing was very questionable, but the gore was outstanding. Fuck! You hear that? I love, I fucking love these guys. Look at him dragging his sword. Holy shit! Oh god! Whoa! Fuck, he's fucking fast! <laughs> oh, what the hell. We should save it, but why not have some fun? Motherfucker's got a huge axe. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. If if the next Elder Scrolls looks this good, I will be so fun! I'll be so fucking pleased. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm in an Elder... Like a next-gen Elder Scrolls dungeon. This is so fucking cool. I tell you what, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X versions... They look incredible. But this... This is some next-level shit! How do we push enemies away? It said left bumper, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, left bumper. It's not... Oh, after you block, you can push away. Okay, I get it. These guys look fucking incredible. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's good shit. I'm not gonna waste my bullets on them. A bunch of chumps. <laughs> All right. Where's my where's my pipe bomb? Check this out. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh! I thought his legs flew off. That's some decent loot. All right, something to remember is that, like, pipe bombs, they don't bounce as much as you would think, so don't be afraid to really throw the distance. Oh, my God. This is a graphical powerhouse. Resident Evil 7 looked good, but this is a showcase, practically. Trust me, it looks a lot better in person. I'm, uh, this is the best possible stream settings. I've got this, um... I've got this really well configured, but YouTube compression is not great. I can't believe Cassandra caused all this mess. It's so fucking cool. Fuck. Which tools do you prefer? The fuck did she go? The fuck did she go? Shit! I fucking love how they just walk right through iron bars. Shit! Squeeze the blood out when they're alive, Fuck and shit. it's that much. Fuck. Fucking dead end, dumbass. Fuck. Uh, Fuck. Uh, Fuck. Uh, Fuck. Uh, shit. Oh god, that's a lot of blood. I need blood. Oh shit. Wet, bright red blood. You're tonight's main dish. Where are you going, little one? <laughs> Bullets cannot harm. <laughs> you stupid man thing! <laughs> What? My body! It's breaking! Don't believe it! This can't be! Impertinent man! Give up! Uh. 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 
Shit, that's metal as fuck. Oh my god, that looks fucking cool. The windows. <sighs> so Ethan just puts that in his pocket? Okay. The next time we encounter one of these daughters of Damutresk, I guess we shoot out a window. It makes their, uh, uh, body more solid. <laughs> oh shit. Fucking people meet. Shit, that was cool, man. The effect of the of her body um, becoming more rigid and frozen was really cool. Oh, it's the bottle. Demotress special blend. I was gonna waste handgun ammunition on her. <laughs> You're kidding me. Small fry like that. Ah, I had more trouble with the lichens. Another one was sent to the cellar. She only had spilled some soup. Everyone knows what happens when you send to the cellar. You're never seen again. They drain your blood, your soul crushed. I'm cursed to wander the halls. Shit. I went looking for her, and when I found her, she was just skin and bones and gnawing on a rat carcass. I suspect it'll be my turn next. Oh! They're the Draugr that we see down there in the, in, the, in the dungeon. Okay. I was wondering what was happening to the people taken to the cellar. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. There's actually a fair amount of weapon customization. You can change out triggers. Uh, obviously this is a compensator. I think there's a silencer as well. It kind of reminds me of Stalker. I don't know if you ever played Stalker, Call of Pripyat, Clear Sky, um, Shadow of Chernobyl, but the gun customization and inventory system is Stalker reminiscent. Oh fuck, look at that. Look at the lighting, man. It's good stuff. Really atmospheric. There's definitely way less of a horror focus than Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. But if this was in VR, I would be shitting my pants. This seems valuable. You know what? Let's inspect it. You never know. Oh, I think this is just for, uh... Yeah, this is just for Lay. Never mind. Still, it could have been part of a puzzle. Worth checking out. Oh, shit. This is the room from Maiden. What a perf- what a clever name that was for that demo. Oh, fuck. Lady Demetresque can uh, endure the cold. Her daughters can't, but I just realized. In the Maiden demo, Lady Demetresque was outside. That's good to remember. If we battle her, I don't think the cold is going to help us all that much. There's a wine glass here, but I think that was just for the demo, yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. How much lay do we have? Almost 10,000. We're gonna have to spend some money sooner or later. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a mansion castle from the 19th century and it has a recoil compensator on display? <laughs> yeah. That's something I actually really like about this game. It doesn't take itself so seriously to the point where it's stiff. Um, I mean, they could do that and it could be cool, but 
I also just really like, look at that stone material, that's good shit. I also just really like how confident this game is in its direction. It's weird. Some of this stuff is fucking wild, like Heisenberg, he's basically Magneto. He has this power over Magnesis. Uh, it's, it's like he's an X-Man. It's kind of cool. Oh shit, this fabric looks good. This whole game is incredible. Is Lady Dimitrescu here? Alright, I guess we checked everything. Oh, right! You know what? I bet there's a secret passage. Check this out. I was waiting ever since the Maiden demo. I've been waiting to put the wine bottle in its cradle. And see what happens. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, gorgeous. What the hell? Oh, door didn't open all the way. Shall I give you the tour? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, I'm so thirsty. Where is she? Ah, oh, she's smart, huh? <laughs> Good call. I was gonna lead her in the room and blast the window open. Hmm. Let's see what the Duke has for sale. I've expanded my services. Please, come take a look. Welcome, Ethan. Is the deluxe version worth it? You know, I wouldn't say... Oh, shit, this is uh, for, from pre-ordering. I don't know if I would say oh, that, the, that the deluxe version is worth it. Um, I mean, maybe if it comes with a... Like the soundtrack or something like that, but... I'm pretty sure it's basically just a booster kit. Like, it gives you some items, and that's not worth it. That's not worth it, in my opinion. The game itself, I would definitely say it's worth I'm it so far. All sorts of weapons There's obviously a lot of passion that they put into this thing. Alright, let's sell some more stuff. <laughs> Only 5,000? This is the, the, the Crystal Corpse of one of Lady Demotresk's daughters. Oh, shit. Almost sold my handgun ammo. Oh, look at that. You can sell all your shit. <laughs> Luckily, there's not a sell all button. And look at that, 24,000 lay. Wow. This is all oh, look, you can sort by, uh, oh, that's good. Good stuff. I'm gonna do that next time, just in case. Well, we can buy just about anything now. What is that, a hair trigger? Yeah, cool. It's for the shotgun. Securing good. It's like I'm ever gonna hair trigger the shotgun. Anything, my friend. How expensive that ammunition is. Yeah, that seems worth it. Can I shoot a the Duke? Good deal, if I say so myself. Ah, he doesn't seem to care. Why would he? Just. More ammunition I would have to Do buy. Be careful not to waste your ammunition. That's very good, Duke. Ugh. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it here. I'm going to be playing again tomorrow, however. I don't know if I'm going to be playing Re Returnal or more Resident Evil Village. But we're going to be playing Returnal or 
Resident Evil Village this weekend. So, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, uh, probably around 12 or 1 p.m. Central Time. If you come at 1 p.m. Central, I should already be streaming. But, yeah, 1 p.m. Central. I hope to see you guys then. Thank you for joining me for this. I really, I really, really dig this game. This is right up my alley. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> All right, let's see if she bites. Come on. Shit, she's quick. Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Come on. Come on in. Come on. She's smarter than her sister. That's for sure. Bitch. If she was really smart, she'd come after us right now. <laughs> she doesn't seem to want us uh, to come through this door. Whenever we come near, she usually uh, spawns. Weird. Anyway, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central. I hope to see you guys there, but I really dig this game. Honestly, it's refreshing to see a game that's so... Play with me some more. Fuck! Vibrant? Is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, God. Duke, save me. She's not going to come in here. No fucking way. I thought the door was going to be locked, honestly. Anyway, Heisenberg being like an X-Man and everything. That's really cool. This game has a lot of character. Biohazard was great, but this game, in my opinion, is such a excellent evolution on it. It's fucking awesome. Anyway, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow and the day after, but until then, game massively. And stay frosty out there. <laughs> I tell you what, if you had an OLED, 77 inch OLED, a 3080 in Resident Evil Village, you'd be fucking set. You wouldn't do anything else. Really, this game on an OLED is outstanding. Check it out. If you have an OLED, all right, if you have a good gaming PC, if you've got an Xbox Series X or PS5, check out this game. At least download one of the demos. Shit, you know what? I think the demos are leaving today. So, if you have an OLED, if you got a next-gen console or a good gaming PC, get the demo before it leaves. I'm pretty sure it leaves today. Um, check it out. It's fucking stellar, especially in HDR. Really mind-blowing stuff. Really. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. You can combine some things to make them more valuable. Thank you. I actually wasn't aware of that. Hmm. I'm going to be trying that. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.